hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i have a fun thrifting video to share with you guys this week we went to a couple different places this is from multiple trips so let's get into the thrift with me portion i find a lot of fun things and i can't wait to share that with you guys I love decanters, but they wanted $5 for this one, so I passed up on this one. I fell in love with this mirror, but my husband was not so crazy about it, so I took a video just <laughs> to remember how pretty it was. Also loved this basket, but really didn't need one like that. I'm kind of regretting not picking this one up because it would have been so good for storage. You guys know I love baskets. I buy them all the time and the thrift store is just the perfect place like this one would have been so cool maybe to hang on the wall or just for decoration it's just so unique and I think it's gorgeous these ones look like they would have been perfect for the basket wall collage that I'm wanting to do I love Courier and Ives plates and if there would have been two of these I probably would have picked them up I just think they're so beautiful all right, sorry for the filming angle, you guys. Not sure what I was doing, but I thought that plate was so cute. This little wicker boho bottle caught my eye. I thought it was so pretty. And then I loved this little vase. And sorry for the filming angle again. I always like to check out the frames and see if there's anything cool and unique. I thought this ceramic teapot was interesting. If it was a different color, I might have picked it up, but I wasn't crazy about the brown. I thought these little cups with the chickens on them were adorable, but we have so many cups. And then I came across these boots. They were in the women's section. They look like men's, but they were Ariat brand and in great condition still. It's just crazy what you can find at a thrift store. Then a few days later, we went to an antique store that we've never been to. This place was massive, and I was actually pleasantly surprised by the prices. Most of the time, I feel like antique stores are very, very high priced. Their prices were so reasonable, and they had so many cool vintage and unique things. I cannot wait to go back. All right, now we're back at Goodwill, and this copper pot was gorgeous, and then I found another Revereware pot but I have way too many, so I left them behind. Came across these new balances that I figured I could clean up pretty easily. Who else loves when they roll out these carts when you're there? It's like you're getting first dibs on the new stuff, but sometimes people flock to them like vultures and it's intimidating. Once again, looking at all the frames, I really liked the detailing on this one, but wasn't crazy about the backing on it. This one had water damage, so I didn't end up getting it, but I really liked the gold lining on the inside. And I just thought this one was just a really pretty piece of art. I know you guys are all gonna be so shocked, but we looked at all the baskets. I thought these were gorgeous, but I wasn't really crazy about the dark blue. Lucas had found one of those little back massager things and wanted to put it in this basket. And then Lucas wanted the basket, which was very pretty. I loved this little faux grass planter, but I didn't know where I would put it. And if I can't think of something right away, typically I pass on an item. This cup just made me think of my husband. He is a huge fisherman, but I did not get it. This section was packed and almost overwhelming to even try to look through everything. And then Lucas managed to grab that bowl out of the cart and I quickly grabbed it to prevent it from being broken. We did a quick run through the clothes. I mean, very quick because I was just not feeling going through all those clothes. I thought this baby girl blanket was adorable. It was so well made. It was in perfect condition. If 
I knew I would have a girl, I would have totally bought it. I couldn't decide if I loved or hated this, so I left it behind. This cup had me cracking up and I probably should have got it for myself because honestly, that's how I feel sometimes. I loved the stone look and the texture of this container and this thing was heavy. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you enjoyed the thrift with me portion of this video. So like I said, that was a bunch of different thrifting trips over the past few weeks. Um, so this won't necessarily be in order, but let's just jump into it. One of the things that I found is this really cool, you, do you guys want to call this a sun? <laughs> Little accent wall piece. Um, I've been wanting to get some different materials and textures to hang on the wall, and I really thought this was cool. Kind of gave me a slight western vibe. I'm sure a bunch of you will disagree, but I just thought it was really pretty and unique. I got this for three dollars. I figured why not. All right, so if you saw my previous video, then you know that I got a couple baskets recently to hang on the wall. I want to do like a really cool hanging basket wall decor. And I found these at Goodwill. Now I know these are actually like to put a paper plate on, but they're flat and I figured they'd be perfect for my basket wall. And I got all of these for $2.59. How many did I even get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven of them for $2.59. Don't know if I'll use all seven of them on the wall. I don't know. We'll see, but I figured why not? For $2.59, you can't go wrong. And if I end up not putting them on my wall, then I have cute little paper plate holders. These would actually be really cute for a party. I have Lucas's second birthday coming up and I'm trying to think of like how I want to do his birthday. And these would actually be really cute for his party, but whatever, these are most likely going on the wall. And then I also found this basket and my original thought was to hang it on the wall. It's so pretty though. I love, I love the texture and the design in this basket. Um, I got this one, I want to say it was $1.59 at Goodwill, but I just love this one. I think it is so pretty. You guys know that I'm obsessed with baskets. I've thrifted so many baskets the past year, so add this one to my collection. Might be going on the wall too. So I ended up getting the Jesus picture and he's shepherding his sheep. I have no clue where I'm gonna put this in my house, um, but I just thought it was so precious and I, I think it's a beautiful piece of art. I think this might be marble and then the wood is beautiful. I love the colors in it. I just really thought it was pretty and it used to have, you can see where it used to have a little wall hook, so I'm gonna have to add another one on there. I really don't know where I'm gonna put this, but I just thought it was really pretty and I just couldn't pass it up. So, snagged this guy. I haven't gotten a chance to put any of this stuff up yet. Once I do, I will definitely show you guys how I decorate with it, but we just went on our family vacation and then life's been a little hectic a couple weeks after, so I just haven't had a chance to decorate yet, but once I figure out where I'm gonna put all this stuff, I will definitely show you guys. Then I picked up this picture frame for $1.44. I, what I liked about it was the wood frame with the textured accents and the gold here. I don't like this blue backing. Definitely won't be using that. Um, but I just really liked, like I said, I liked the texture here and this gold around. I just thought it was really pretty. And for $1.44, I'm always looking for more picture frames. So I snagged this one. I thought this was so cute. I kind of wish it was flat on one side 
because I attempted to hang it and it kind of just like sticks off the wall a little funny but I'll figure out how to use it somewhere but I got this for three dollars and I just thought it was precious I thought it was so cute and maybe put like some a little fake plant in there I don't know I'll figure out somewhere to put it because it's adorable and I had to have it this was such a fun find I wonder if this used to be like a liquor bottle I don't know it's, it literally smells like nothing nothing so I don't know if this was like sold at home goods once or something I I don't know but I got it for a dollar 44 and I thought it was really pretty really unique and I think I want to put it on my hutch actually that's right back here just to kind of break up some of the glass decanters that I have definitely has like a boho look to it but we'll make it work somehow all right I picked up the big stone container <laughs> stone bowl what do you want to call this she's heavy but anyways I thought it was very cool I love cool textured pieces I can see this in my bathroom maybe just you know throwing my makeup and stuff in here and grabbing it when I need it I don't know we'll figure it out like I said when I figure out how to use all this stuff I will definitely share that with you guys but I picked this up for where's the sticker I don't remember how much this was apparently I took the sticker off already um, I want to say it was under three dollars I can't imagine I would have paid more than that but it's heavy and it's good organization and it's good unique texture and color so I picked it up I ended up snagging these really pretty cute new balances I don't know what I was thinking though you guys when I picked these up one you can tell how tiny they are normally my shoe size is seven and a half or eight but I forgot new balances obviously run small because my other pair of new balances are size nine these are size seven and a half I can barely squeeze my feet into these but it is what it is I went ahead and cleaned them up really nice I'm so bummed because they literally look like they are almost brand new and they were so cheap under five dollars you just can't beat that and new balances are so expensive my new balances that I got were on sale and it still hurt my wallet so I was really excited to find these but then I was really sad to realize that they don't fit my feet hardly at all so I might give them to a friend or just sell them at a garage sale we'll see but I still wanted to show you guys because it's crazy what you can find thrifting these are great running workout shoes walking shoes they're just great shoes and you can get them crazy cheap at Goodwill if you just go often enough and are patient all right you guys that's it for the haul it was short and sweet but it was a lot of good stuff a lot of good home decor I'm so glad I'm finally finding good home decor and home goods again for the longest time I was striking out all I was finding was clothes 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 and while I love that um, I wanted to find some good home decor too so I'm so excited that I finally have been finding some good home decor so I'm excited to see what I find next I haven't been thrifting in what feels like a month I think it has been it's been like a month since I've gone thrifting so I'm excited to get back into the thrift stores and find more stuff to show you guys all right guys that's it for this video I'm gonna go plant my garden I will see you in the next one bye